Oh, Lord. Hi, ladies and girls. Today's video, we are talking about current favorites, and we have been blessed with JoJo to be in the video. So, <sighs> glam mom on duty. Okay, so if you're interested in what we are liking, then keep watching. Let's get into some beauty favorites. We're going to always talk about hair first. The first thing is, are my head wraps, y'all. I have been loving head wraps for deep conditioning and right now I have a twist out under here I wash and condition I am thinking about wearing a wig and so I need to I've been binge watching wig videos and how to braid if you have some great ones link them down below or let me even know uh, what channel because I think if you link it down below they'll they'll can they'll see it as spam but if you let me know the YouTuber's name, I watch You Love You Love Megs as well as some other YouTubers. But let me know if you know some really good people that have really good wig reviews and maybe I can check them out. So we can do wig play here on my channel. Moving on, the next thing that I have been loving, y'all know I've been talking about this. And by the way, my current obsessions are just things that I have been loving more than just one month. And this is the Camille Rose coconut water penetrating hair treatment i love this in addition to another deep conditioner y'all i have been testing so many deep conditioners this is like the third one the diva curl melt into moisture is probably the best con deep conditioner at sephora for curly hair yes i'll link it over here diva curl is my jam anyway i have done quite a few uh reviews of of their products and they've been in favorites videos. There have been some ones that just don't work for me. And I've talked about those too. But overall, Diva Curl has been holding it down for the curly girls. So I really do like the Melt Into Moisture. That is in the bathroom currently. So, and Joseph has me tied down. Joseph, you gonna let me go get it? <laughs> he said no. Oh, another favorite is my Anai Oxen Hair Booster. If you haven't already seen it in a Texture Tuesday, then you're gonna definitely see this. Um, look for this. It also has been in my top five products for hair growth. I really do. I've seen results in this since Elijah. So seven years ago, this worked for me. Okay. Let's move on to skincare. I have been loving this uh, L'Occitane. This is their cream comfort, comforting cream. Cream comfort. Oh, comforting cream light. This is so good it has five percent shea butter in it y'all know i love shea butter but this is so so good you can get the regular one the regular one is a little bit heavier this one you could use during the day and at night but i use this in at night in conjunction with one of my favorite face oils so you can take your marula oil your argon oil or i like the Mar tart maracuja oil and also the nitamins by origins the their refining oil love those four oils but this is so so good it feels like silk on my skin okay and i really do love this i this is like gonna be my favorite moisturizer especially my nighttime and I take it along my decolletage my neck and my face I have been loving this Tarte Guard 30 this is so good I feel like this has kind of like an illuminating factor in it because it makes my skin so so luminous and in a luminous in a good way not greasy but luminous and I feel like that there is a difference it does show the expiration date, which is pretty cool. I got this from Gen Beauty. It was only like on, it was on sale. They had it for $5 for the travel. So I picked up two of these and I really do love this. I can't wait to get the large bottle. I do have a couple of SP, other SPFs to get through, but this by far, so far, this one and the Josie Marin is my favorite. And the reason why I wanted to include this is because one of you guys gave me the suggestion because I have a ton of SPFs because I did a video on things I no longer buy. I'll link it over here just so you can check it out because I love those videos. I need to do another one because I found some more stuff that I no longer buy right now. Uh, our SPFs. I have a ton of SPFs. But one of you guys was like, don't put it not only in your face, but put it on your neck and your chest. Because this will look all good, but your neck and chest will go crinkly wrinkly. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. So I have been putting this on my neck and my decollete, a decolletage. I love saying decolletage. 
but it is decollete I think it's decollete it's French so um I love using this on my decollete my neck and my face so thank you girl you was holding it up okay the pixie glotion day do I really do like this it's like a moisturizer with illuminate illumination factors in it I love this I've talked about this in a favorites video but I've been using this non-stop I'm almost done with this and I have been loving the Josie Marin Argon uh, Enlightenment Illuminizer. I talked about this before. If you cannot find, uh, if they don't have the Marc Jacobs, the limited edition for the summer, this one is really great. And this one is a champagne over a gold. So if you are a beige, uh, if you're my skin tone and are lighter, this is going to look amazing with for you. If you are a deeper skin tone, Put this in your moisturizer or put this in your foundation. If you have dry skin, if you have normal skin, this will probably work for you. Steer clear from that if you are oily, okay? I have been loving this. Oh my goodness, I didn't know. I thought I was going to really, I thought I had made a mistake. And I, I was like, I should have got Fuego, man. I, and I picked up Mita May because Desi Perkins and I are the same shade. And I actually have it. I feel like you can go high beam or you can go subtle with this. And the way you go subtle is to put this on and it's the type of brush that you use. I use a Luxie, like really fluffy brush. And I have just been loving this. It's on my cheeks and my inner corner. So this is how intense it can go. And this is how sheer I've made this. But I love the packaging. Desi and Katie did an amazing job on this collection and you'll see looks probably in the winter with me using it, but I really do love it. Another product I have been loving is the Too Faced Sugar Pop and also the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly. These are both limited edition. If you like, if you like Too Faced, these are the type of palettes. I feel like if you don't have a lot of space and you want to just do pops of color, the Sugar Pop was amazing. I saw this you know, you can, private sellers are selling the sugar pop, but I really do love this. I have it on today and I feel like I can still get away with it even going into fall because what I've been using is this shade Blackberry and using it with the pops of color. So what I did was I used Blackberry and then today I used Macaroon as kind of like a transition with another brown. I've also used Sugared Violet with Malted Milk Ball. These are just so beautiful. This is probably one of my favorite pops of color that are like wearable for people that are not like, that's like, for people that like neutrals but want a little bit of pop of color, this is amazing. So I know it's limited edition, I'm so sorry, but if you can find something comparable to it, a lot of the colors in the Jaclyn Hill palette is comparable to that. And this, if you have the Naked Heat palette, I talked about that and uh, Can I Do That? These type of shades are really, really, I love the purples and everything. Um, this, I just have been loving. These are, you're probably going to see this in a dupes video from Fenty Beauty. So this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Micro Finishing Powder. And it's press form. I do have the loose as well, but I do prefer the press. I've been loving the press form of the Sasha Cosmetics. This is the Buttercup press form i've really been enjoying this and i have hit pan and it's in a project pan right now i don't want to blind you guys but that's how it looks it is getting loose but i love how soft and how bright it makes my under eye look i really do enjoy this this i was surprisingly i have been loving this is the becca ever matte poreless priming perfector i use this around my nose my nose gets tends to get oily so i have been using this and primer nowhere else and I have been really, really loving this. So I hope you guys enjoyed my current favorites. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I will come with these seasonal. This is kind of like going into fall. This is the end of summer. But yeah, I wanted to come with my summer edit of my current favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I will see beautiful you in the next video. Bye, loveys.